We're going to go over a psalm today, specifically Psalm 146 in the ESV version. So, let's get to it. Put not your trust in princes. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, O my soul. I will praise the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God while I have my being. Put not your trust in princes, in a son of man, in whom there is no salvation. When his breath departs, he returns to the earth. On that very day, his plans perish. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord his God, who made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that is in them, who keeps faith forever. Verse 7, who executes justice for the oppressed, who gives food to the hungry? The Lord sets the prisoners free. Verse 8. The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. 9. The Lord watches over the sojourners. He, ups, he upholds the widow and the fatherless. But the way of the wicked he brings to ruin. The Lord will reign forever. Your God, O Zion, to all generations. Praise the Lord. Alrighty, and then we're just going to go over here just because it connects. Psalm 146, 1 through 10, reign forever. The first nine verses of Psalm 146 offer praise to God for all that he does and is doing. The psalm ends with the declaration that the Lord will reign forever. 1 Corinthians 15 verses 24 through 26 echoes the idea that God will reign forever. And Revelation 11 15 says the kingdom of the world has become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ. And he shall reign forever and ever. In biblical times, kings struggled to hold their reign over their kingdom for as long as they could. And then they ended up having a power struggle, usually. So, you know, all the, just, it's a mess with the lineage. And they place the high priority on having sons. So unlike these kings, God does not have to fight to maintain his role. It's his rule. Sorry, I, like, zoned out for a second because I was just imagining, like, all the mangas and stuff that I've read or just, like, you know, the books where they have power struggles. And it's just a mess, too, when, you know, and you have, like, several wives and, like, depending on the requirements and all that stuff. <sighs> just, it's a lot. Anyway, in Psalms, well, I, actually, let me say, anyway, so God doesn't, yeah, he doesn't have to fight, like it says. He maintains the role. In Psalms, 1 Corinthians, and Revelation, it is written that God's reign will never come to an end. And he only needed one son to confirm his reign here on earth. Jesus. Jesus reminded people that his father is the one true ruler. It is the responsibility of Jesus' followers to continue to follow their king and to bring others along to do the same. And here we go back to kind of just, you know, discipleship. <laughs> um, you know, just how we're supposed to spread the message, pass it along, all nations. Yep. Can't tell you how many times I've heard the joke. If you want to go home sooner to heaven, then get out there and go evangelize. <laughs> uh, I've heard that one too many times. But yeah, anyway, so that was today's psalm. Psalm 146. Reign forever. In the ESV version. I hope that you took something from this. And have a good night wherever you are. Good day, good evening, afternoon, whatever it is.